Welcome back to Harper's Car Detailing. Here we have a rather filthy Range Rover Vogue back from a day shooting, and as you can see, it desperately needs some attention. Firstly I start with the wheels, two different size Vallop Pro brushes, one long EZ wheel brush for the inner barrels, one clean soft applicator pad for behind the spokes, and a tyre brush, and a squirt of shampoo. Firstly I start by giving the wheel arches a thorough rinse, which in this case, and because the car is relatively new, is all it needs. If the arches are badly soiled, then a stiff brush and an all-purpose clean should do the trick. After this, the tyres and wheels are thoroughly rinsed. The tyres are then sprayed with an all-purpose cleaner and the wheels with a slightly alkaline wheel cleaner. This is then followed by a blanket of foam to help aid lubrication. With the wheels being gloss black, they're prone to scratching, so it's imperative that you rinse as much as possible. If the wheels are particularly dirty, then it might be worth using an iron remover, as the iron from the brake dust is particularly sharp and can mark the gloss finish. Here's just another view showing the wheel face cleaning.
Usually I would go straight to a pre-washed degreaser, however I wanted to remove as much dirt as possible beforehand. Now the car has been rinsed, I apply a citrus based degreaser to help dissolve any dirt left over. I know the car doesn't look particularly dirty after the rinse, however if I left this to dry the car would look like I've just taken it down to the local petrol station and quickly rinsed it off. door shuts are then flushed with a stream of water and using the same citrus based degreaser and a brush which is different to the wheel brush as you don't want to mix them all of the door shuts fuel cap grill and other intricate areas are cleaned The car is then covered in a blanket of detergent rich solution which again will further dissolve any dirt, therefore reducing the chance of inflicting any damage to the paint when washing.
car is then washed from top to bottom using the two bucket method. One bucket is filled with soap and water and the other rinse water. As mentioned in another video, the idea of the two bucket method is to ensure that the wash bucket stays as clean as possible, which will therefore reduce the risk of inflicting any damage. I tend to leave the back of the car till the end as typically this is where most of the dirt collects. Using a twist and loop microfiber towel, the car is then dried. I always start with the glass as this helps lubricate the towel before drying the soft paintwork. There's a couple of ways to dry the wheels, either with the damp microfiber, which is shown here, or by using pressured air, which is shown when I dry the tyres. As mentioned before, gloss black wheels mark very easily, so be extra careful when washing and drying. Now to finish the car off, I dress all of the tyres. In the winter, I like to use a water-based dressing such as Car Pro Pearl as it doesn't matter if the tyres are still slightly damp. And here's the finished product. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop me a message in the comment section below.